We have gathered here today in the love of friendship and family to celebrate the blending of two lives. As Josh and Mickey come before you here today as two, they will be united as one in marriage. Mickey, it amazes me that it's already been almost four years that we've been on this journey together. We have already experienced so many firsts together, made so many memories, and not to mention survived through a pandemic. People talk all the time about working together, communicating, and being honest with one another. We have proven to each other, to our three am amazing children, and to our friends and family, that we can tackle anything thrown our way as long as we continue to do it together. I vow to never take our love and friendship for granted, but to cherish and nurture it always. I vow to never stop communicating, even when the conversations are tough or the situation overwhelming. I vow to be open to almost every new adventure with you. Because uh, dangling me up in the air, even if you put food in front of me, is just not, not, not gonna be a good idea. But I will experience the freezing Antarctic and the Sound of Music tour with you that you wanna go on. And lastly, I vow to always be this man you fell in love with and continue to love you more and more every day. Kiss. <laughs> Josh, from the early weeks and months of our relationship, we spent a lot of time getting to know each other. And the things I learned during that time led to me falling in love with you. I discovered early on and have experienced daily since how incredibly easy it is to talk to you. You listen better than anyone I've ever known. And there's never been a point in our relationship that I have it felt at total ease with you. So today, as we move into this next chapter of our story, committing ourselves to one another for the rest of our lives, these are my promises to you. I promise to always be by your side, faithful and truthful through life's ups and downs. I promise to not only show unconditional love to you, but to Brayden and Dallin as well. I promise to always be your best friend and dance with you in the kitchen, as long as we're both physically able. I promise to always respect you and prioritize you and make decisions with you as a team. I promise to always communicate with you and never make you question what I'm thinking or feeling. I promise to always make time for you and never stop trying to know you. And last but not least, I promise you that for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, and in sickness and health, I will always love you and think you're neat for all the days of my life. Inasmuch as you have sealed your vows in the presence of those gathered here by the giving of these rings and have consented together to live in marriage, it now gives me much pleasure to pronounce you are now husband and wife. You may seal this covenant with a kiss. you are 
And when you're with Josh, you're even better. So I am so excited, Josh, to welcome you to our family and to see you two together. It is so fun. And so I just want to wish you guys a long, happy marriage with lots of kitchen dance parties and laughter. And if the Chiefs can keep winning the Super Bowl for you, that would be great too. And I just love you both so much. So congratulations and cheers to both of you. I'm extremely grateful for the beautiful, loving, supportive bride, Mickey. You are exactly what my dad needed in life. Being around you two, there is never a dull moment. It is always lots of laughs, lots of smiles, lots of love. And I love being around you guys. Margo, I love you. I love you so much. It's awesome finally having a younger sibling. I hope everyone enjoys tonight. We're celebrating a lifelong commitment here. We're celebrating love. So cheers to that. Thank you all.